Okay. Let's have a few games today. My rating's taking hammering recently. I don't think playing um, during this tournament has, uh, when I'm being really tired, doesn't help the blitz rating. So hopefully I'm going to get the blitz rating back with a few wins in a row at some point. Uh, well, let's play this. Morozovic is a uh, move. He's played a lot. So, uh, C5. I'm going to play this Queen D5. Just try and keep a solid structure. Hope for the best with um, Queen. <clears throat> so c6, b5, bishop b7. I'm just going to play bishop f4. Um, I don't know, bishop f4 might be a pain, so maybe bishop d6. I think I'll allow my pawns to be doubled if bishop g5. I'll just play b5 and bishop b7. Okay, here comes doubling the pawns. Oh, nope. Not yet. I'll play knight d7 soon then. Aha! Here comes. Oh. Light square bishop exchange. I'll keep my light square bishop. I might want to play f5. I'll try and keep it. Maybe knight b4. Chase away his knight. His, his, his bishop again with knight b4. Or even snitch a pawn. Knight takes a2. h5 comes into mind. <laughs> Actually, h5 may be more fun than. Um, than uh, well, the knight's gone anyway. So how about h5? This diagonal is like weak because of his g3 move. So if I just castle queenside, so b4 first, keep the lines closed a little bit. Mind you, I really want to play bishop c5 here. Mm, knight b3. No, there was not not. It's blocked knight b3, so knight bishop c5. So the knight's virtually pinned, so h5, h4 looks really tempting. Just castle queenside first. This looks really good. These bishops, wow. If I could draw arrows. <laughs> um, if I castle queenside here. Actually, threatening rook takes d2 now, actually. Knight takes queen. Guys, just play rook d2. Rook d2, queen f3. Uh, it's probably the simplest. So this diagonal is just amazing. So all the queens come off. Bishop's still really dominating. So I can play for h5. Um, looks pretty nice. So h5, h4, rook g8, threatening rook g3. King h2. Hmm. And let's take the bishop. Right. Gonna keep the bishop on the dangerous diagonal. C5 is gonna embarrass it. So maybe this diagonal instead. Bishop e7 to f6. First king, I think, to c6 to stop the use of c5. Aha. Trying to evict my my bishop. Okay, a5. To, oh, I can't do that. King c7 just to be able to play rook b8 if c5 rook b8. 
Also, can I try F6, just trapping the rook now? Oh, just let the rook come out. Oh, I can play it here. It's going to sack the exchange. Oh, the rook e6. What about this c5 pawn? Let's try and win that. If f3, bishop c5, also the skewer. Uh huh. Alright, can take takes this check and I'll win the rook. So we'll hit a5 next. Uh, f6, okay, and h5, f4, h4. Okay, he's resigned. That was a bit of a neat game. Um, so getting letting the queens be harassed, but this g3 was just awful. The diagonal just um, preserved the light square bishop, and he gave that up as well. And uh, that wasn't. I don't think that was a great positional game from White. Um, so, comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.